The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as I'm here and you're on time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? We're up a little bit on the uh, S&P, up uh, 14 points, although we dipped back to almost unchanged uh, on the uh, bond auction uh, just after 1 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, we also have uh, the NASDAQ uh, off about a tenth of percent, down 20 points or so. Dow's up 160. Crude oil's up 43 cents. Uh, gold's got a $15 pop in it. Uh, what doesn't have a pop uh, is, of course, a lot of volume. Uh, about 6 billion shares as we get up through these highs. Uh, everybody's got a little bit of fear of missing out, I think. Uh, but uh, what is very interesting is we're back up to these highs. Uh, the VIX is in the 15s. Uh, that generally is a good sign to say that even if you're going to be long or short, you're probably much better off playing options anywhere. Uh, you start getting to 18 and they start looking fairly good. Uh, and uh, you get uh, down into the 15s here, eh, good. I mean, we had a couple of years where it was like 12. And if you were playing options, they really worked out well. Uh, they're almost cheaper or were cheaper uh, in a relative sense of risk uh, than owning the equities. Especially at new highs, uh, everybody thinks the market can only go higher. Uh, generally, if uh, the VIX was going up at these highs, I would suspect uh, that uh, we had uh, uh, maybe a lot higher to go. But a uh, lot of big moves in the market these days are based on uh, people on the offsides side of being bearish. Uh, there's just not that much left in the tank for bears out here. Everybody's... Uh, really too scared to pull the trigger on much of those i've been a little bearish here i've got a position and eh, pretty much uh, in line yeah maybe just down just a tad or something uh we'll find out i didn't want to give it much but today is uh options rollover day uh the end of options rollover generally monday and tuesday I uh, was kind of looking for some kind of downside today, not quite getting it. And the question is whether or not they're going to try to drive it up one more time with uh, the very big lack of volume uh, that we have. But uh, just so many stocks not participating. Uh, you know, we got a little bit of that in the summation index where we saw uh, the market kind of uh, spread out and broaden a bit. But we're kind of back to a great deal of what we've seen before, which is uh, just very, very narrow leadership in the market. We've got a lot of stocks to look at. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, to, to up 15 points on the S&P cash. So kind of just weakish here, but uh, or light or up on a lighter volume. Uh, earnings uh, not all that exciting. We'll go through the uh, the big ones. We're going to do a little history, get that out of the way, and then get ready for uh, some charts because we got a lot to look at. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. <laughs> On this day in 1906, Lee DeForest, Dr. Lee DeForest, not the guy from Star Trek, by the way, 
although it's the only other one I've ever heard of, announces his three-element electrical vacuum tube, later known as the triode. The triode was able to produce a large voltage amplifying effect. When used to amplify weak signals, it will make long-distance communications possible for the first time, and even loud speakers. Of course, um, I hate the word amplifier because it doesn't amplify really anything. What it does do is take a low signal and turn it into a big signal. There's no extra power that comes out of the ether. Uh, it only allows you to really control uh, a bigger uh, valve with a smaller one. And that's all that generally most of these things do. Of course, uh, why this one was used for power, soon they would be using for switching. And uh, that's really where we started to see uh, computers start to develop in the 40s when they were more used digitally. Uh, but of course, they didn't last long before transistors came to supplant them. Uh, but being able to switch stuff is the heart of everything we do today. And it started all with the triode on this day in 1906. And I have a DeForest radio, by the way. Uh, it is absolutely a Art Deco piece of work. Um, the wood is out uh, actually being refinished, and I've got uh, all the electronics sent out to be refurbished. Uh, but, uh, man, those DeForest radios, just a thing of beauty and engineering for its time. But uh, gorgeous. Okay, we're going to get into charts already in progress over most of TFNN. Um, probably the most interesting one for me technically uh, is uh, that you see T-Mobile and Verizon popping. Um, they are going to offer us a, a, a uh, alternate uh, possibility for internet connections. Right now I'm stuck with a fairly uh, low uh, speed version of Frontier and a higher speed, which I'm using now uh, from Spectrum. Uh, but uh, you know what? Yeah, not a lot of competition. Prices continue to go higher. Uh, I like an opportunity to do something different. And of course, T-Mobile and Verizon are announcing today uh, that that they have over the air 5G, soon to be 6G, uh, connectivity for home internet. Um, haven't seen the pricing quite yet, but this gives them yet another big. Uh, uh, move uh, for them to go forward. Again, you're not going to make a great deal of difference, I think, in the stock price uh, for a while because all that stuff takes money and no one likes anybody spending money. They only like people making money in the stock market. Uh, but when we look at this, uh, you can see both of them have a nice bounce. But, you know, I used to have uh, in the early days of my trading uh, a uh, load balancing uh, router. And that is that I had two different internet connections, one that was a kind of a lower speed, one a higher speed, because it was not uncommon to lose your internet connection uh, for a while back then. Uh, anyway, it would automatically switch to uh, whatever provider. I'm going to have to start looking for that. That would be very nice to know. I don't have a lot of problems right now with Spectrum. They're pretty good. But uh, that wireless one may come in handy the next big blow. That is a hurricane for those in boots comes uh, to Florida. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, uh, the wonderful break here. Of course, these breaks, eh, probably in the internet age, probably aren't a big deal. But if you're talking straight, it's nice to get a couple of minutes off and uh, get a drink or do something. I'd hate to be on stage for an entire straight hour, although I could. But uh, you'd probably then have to watch me open up uh, uh, something to drink and maybe even get a snack. Eh, probably just better off taking a small break and listening to some ads. Uh, anyway, uh, Ron wanted to know about uh, Ulta. Uh, as I said, when it was going into earnings, I was kind of surprised that it missed because, man, down here, they've got lines out the door. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's different up north. Maybe there's northern kind of uh, all, all that accoutrement uh, for the ladies. But... Uh, you know what? Uh, not a big deal. Um, I think, I mean, it would have been a nice to be in it, but you might end up with some nice support out here. A uh, great deal of these stocks, you know, like I said on this one before it went in, we were going into a 3 million share high on August 26th uh, with uh, 700,000 shares. So it didn't come in like a uh, lion. It Came in like a lion, uh, a, a a lamb, and so got slaughtered. Uh, da, 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 da. Al says, as far as we be able to get internet, I'm about nine mile, uh, about uh, a mile to the tower. Uh, I've had bad cell service with the old GSM, but the four LTE is good on my new Galaxy A. Uh, yeah, uh, it just depends on what you want. Uh, the nice thing would be that you could take your internet with you, I guess. Uh, unclear. Uh, the uh, antenna, uh, I've got somebody else asking, Joe asking about the size of antenna. And my understanding is that it would be uh, about like a small pizza box outside, but you would have to have something outside. It's not going to not going to work inside. Um, and uh, as far as I know, if you are fairly close, one of the big difference between uh, old internet, uh, old uh, cellular packet kind of stuff, and and this is 5G. Is that you're going to have to be much closer to a tower, and 
you know, those towers are popping up everywhere. I've got one that's maybe 50 yards from the house. So, like I said, I know that it's already uh, T-Mobile, Verizon uh, capable. So I'll be waiting to see and probably try it out. But, you know, next big hurricane that comes out, the only problem I have is, with that is that uh, generally these things have battery backups that last about a day. So if we're out of power for very long, eh, you're still going to lose your Internet connection. Uh, and lose your cell service. We had that last time about two years ago now, maybe a little over two years ago. There's been three. I remember that TFNN's office was still in downtown Clearwater and Cleveland Street, so maybe that sets the time better. Uh, but, yeah, there you go, Al and Joe. Uh, to, to. So we've got that. Uh, you got about half the volume. Generally, when you get uh, on Ulta, generally when you get these big moves out here, uh, they're a big exhaustion move. They, you know, maybe you get one more day, uh, but when's the last time you saw one just continue down straight? Doesn't happen a whole lot. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Another question: Who do I have for internet service? I went with uh, Mint Mobile. For $200 a year, it seems like it. it's incredibly cheap, but it's the data's been there and everything else has been there. And, of course, I'm using a 5G phone. Maybe when more people get to 5G, that'll be a problem. But right now, uh, it uh, seems to work fine. And uh, I got that phone that uh, I think a few of you guys got after my recommendation. Everybody seems to be happy with that so far. The Nord... What was it? Nord something. I can't remember now. Nord One Plus. Yeah, I'll think about it. Okay. Go back here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight is the number. Path at tfnn dot com. If you want to send it to me, I am looking in the junk drawer in case you guys get uh, hit by the spam weasel. But we'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, other things going on. Anthem uh, Healthcare, uh, nice pop up here. Again, uh, the, the government stepped in, has been a boom to these healthcare companies uh, by paying for uh, the uh, anybody with COVID at all. Uh, you get the big rubber stamp that whatever happened to you, man, I think Colin Powell had like four different things that was going to kill him. And, of course, the headline was died from COVID. Uh, but he had everything, Parkinson, cancer. Uh, maybe he had two or three cancers. I don't know what it was. But, of course, headline is he died from can uh, COVID or complications with COVID and everything else. But, you know, these people were nine-tenths there already. Uh, but. Well, if you stamp COVID on it, guess what? Government's going to send you 40 Gs uh, at, and uh, doesn't come out of it. Of course, that whole deal was made to make sure that everybody, um, you know, all the healthcare system didn't instantly implode uh, with everybody showing up. Uh, but uh, what it's really done is make uh, these guys' lives very easy because they just put that big, dump, uh, big stamp on it. And uh, guess what? Uh, they cash out. Uh, Anthem, A-N-T-M. So I don't know if that's going to change much, but eventually this is going to turn around and they're going to be going back to have to pay for people that died from the flu and, uh, and uh, pneumonia and uh, probably going to go the other way. But we've got to wait for that, I think. Uh, we talked about ASML, a great deal. Um, a little bit down here today. Uh, they weren't able to deliver a couple of machines. As we said, you know, maybe they make 24 or 30 or 35 of these things a year. Uh, they're all $150 million or $200 million. So if you uh, are short a couple of parts, you don't ship them, kind of a big deal. Uh, long term, it doesn't change anything. They just deliver them a little bit later. Uh, but the question is, do you still have parts shortages? And they still do. And uh, why it's down a little bit. But, uh, in, you know, 709, 
probably a good place to come back here and take a look at it. Uh, to, to, to do, what do we have here? Bookings.com. Um, I didn't look and see uh, exactly why. B N uh, B K N G. Was it earnings? Couldn't remember. Uh, I didn't see anything. Maybe some more uh, restrictions and mandates about how high we can jump. Don't know. Maybe someone else knows. But, uh, down today, volume's about uh, what it was already yesterday. Back to Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, and rumors, rumors of rumors. What is that in the Bible? There will be rumors of war and rumors of rumors of war and Oh, boy. You're getting that Revelations. And, uh, eh. X-Files had nothing on them 2,000 years ago. Uh, a lot of things going on. Okay, we got uh, lots of stuff going on. A uh, question about uh, AFRM. So we have that from Eddie. 
Uh, firm Holdings, Ordinary Shares. To, 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 what do these guys do that those guys don't do? Uh, to, to, to. Digital Mobile First Commerce in the United States. Company includes point-of-sale systems. I don't know much about this company. Of course, they're another Silicon Valley firm. Uh, chart looks good. You got uh, some decent volume in this rise. But the question is whether or not that's uh, everything or nothing. I guess that's as old as they are, which is, what, a little over a year? Um, this looks kind of extended. Could pull back to 133. I uh, don't know if there's anything else. We talked about NVIDIA the other day. Uh, what's it like to be able to sell as much as you want and still have uh, four times more than you could ever produce? Uh, the only thing is when this thing takes off, uh, when they can produce everything everybody wants. Uh, in the meantime, you're in this big uh, kind of consolidation until everybody's kind of ready for that. So I don't think there's anything new there. Uh, just look for a test of 230. Uh, but I think as time goes on, more and more people are going to chomp on the bit and try to get out front of that. Again, options are incredibly cheap now or should be incredibly cheap. I don't know on NVIDIA. I haven't looked. But I would say you're up at highs. If you're playing for a breakout, go ahead and buy the calls. They're probably going to uh, drop your risk by a fourth of what you have. And, uh, you know, if you're really looking for the big move, if this breaks 230, it's probably going to 300. So I would say just uh, I wouldn't be long a lot of these equities at highs. But if you're trying to get the uh, breakout on this, VIX is low, which means your options probably ought to be fairly inexpensive compared to the movement of the underlying. Um, uh, LRCX, LRCX. Uh, of course, uh, you're not going to probably find a lot of, uh, of uh, semis that are incredibly cheap with options. This one actually looks fairly good. I still would want this to come underneath, maybe back to 560, and then the next move higher above the 3x3 three three would be where I'd want to buy it. But uh, that's just me. I have kind of like that Wyckoff pattern of having it pull back down and signal a low with a retest of the previous low down there about 542-ish. Um, so you got a little bit of a bounce. As Wyckoff would call that, that is a automatic rally. It's a rally that happens without preparation. Generally, a much better trade is waiting for that to come back a bit. And of course, uh, if you miss it, you miss it. But the idea is to have it pull back, get very light volume, somewhere around uh, 550, 550, 555-ish. Uh, looks to me, if you get back there with light volume and it starts turning up, that's where you want to hop on. Uh, resistance comes in at about $610, Zach. So we've got that. Uh, to, to, to get unlimited high-speed Internet for just $50 a month. Nothing more with auto pay. Okay, that's good. Let's see, uh, eh, someone got it. Uh, I, I haven't seen what kind of equipment you have to have to get the Internet and whether they charge you for that. Maybe someone uh, uh, can let me know if they have it. I didn't have a chance to chase it down. Uh, uh, okay. Got a few more things here. Just wanted to go through them all. Uh, so we got that. Uh, got that. Got that. Got that. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got a couple of those. Got that cleaned up. We'll go back to look at some of these others. Uh, I wanted to look at Brinker. It's not on my list. Baker Hughes got up to that high. 
We've been talking about this one doing well because they uh, everybody back on it. Uh, they're still having problems. Uh, big dip out here today on this one. But uh, they had been kind of leading the uh, that uh, offshore uh, well drilling cycle back higher. I got to get something here. Is that a little better? No, it's not for me. Here. Maybe that's better. Yeah, there I can hear myself a little more. Uh, anyway, just back to support on this. Uh, you did break the previous high with some volume, so you have a chance of going at least and retesting 2766. I don't think anything changes anytime soon, uh, but we'll do that. Uh, got a question from uh, Ben who wants to know about Facebook. Uh, and uh, will it change uh, anything by them rechanging their name? In fact, we should have a good contest here. You can email me at path at tfnn.com what you think Facebook's new name should be. Now that they uh, their name is Mud, I don't know where that same came from saying, but I remember my mom saying it. Your name will be Mud. Uh, anyway, uh, you got to think that uh, I like to call it fascist book or fake book, or a lot of other books, but not Facebook itself. But now that they're in the same kind of league that uh, tobacco companies have been for uh, the evil they do, they don't outright kill anybody. They just take their rights. So um, a lot of what they're doing, you got a little move up here. Is it going to make any difference? No. How many times, what is it, Altria uh, used to be, uh, you know, they get together. I don't think it matters at all. Uh, you know, it certainly looks like uh, several of the uh, big executives, including Zuckerberg, lied to Congress. Uh, the question is whether they'll ever go after them or they can just continue to lie with impunity. I suspect the second is correct. But he lied about uh, what they were doing and the way that they were doing stuff uh, when all the documents leak, uh, leaked from India. Uh, on how they were doing stuff. And, of course, uh, same thing with uh, Amazon. Uh, Jeff Bezos got caught in a big, fat lie. Big, fat liars. Liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire. Uh, anyway, Facebook uh, going to change the name? I've got a few of them. None of them are suitable for the air, though. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think you're just in a uh, bounce and a downtrend for Facebook. Um you got a lot of people hating them, both on the left and right, for different reasons. Uh, but uh, you're standing in the middle of the road, and somebody going one way or somebody going the other can hit you. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And we're back. Uh, question uh, from one of the uh, gentle listeners uh, about uh, Facebook, if it's in an ABC down. Yeah, but I think it's probably going more to 355-ish. There's a gap there. Uh, if uh, today was the C point, um, you'd have an ABC down one-to-one -one at 277. Uh, my guess is uh, that'd be more like about 290 uh, back up at uh, 350. So, yeah, I think... You've got a bunch of support back at 304 and 297. Um, so, yeah, I think that's probably more likely that you get a little bit more uh, on the ball here, maybe 350. Uh, that sets up a 50% retracement for back. You've uh, through to today, you've done a 40% uh, retracement of that big move lower. Um, are they going to have earnings problems? No. But uh, I think the uh, a lot of the the uh, uh, lawsuits that are working their way through um, are probably looking at late October, maybe mid-November mid before these guys uh, start getting, uh, well, it's not really indicted because you can't throw a company in jail, but you can certainly uh, take them to court. And I think that a lot of these things are just around the corner. I think that's why you already got the pullback on what's fairly good numbers for Facebook, mostly going forward, because uh, guess what? A lot of these things that they did, they're not going to be able to do to make money in the long term. Okay, got uh, any more? Uh, okay. And got a few more things. Got everybody is live. Go back. Okay, we're up 16 on the S&P cash, uh, 158 on the Dow, Nasdaq's down 12, Russell's up 13, crude oil's up 89. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. Uh, gold up 15 bucks. Um, the big thing that we're looking at there was the uh, bad bond auction, and of course it dipped a little bit earlier, uh, but uh, it had been going down for a couple of days. Um Coming back a little bit, my guess is the Fed probably coming back and trying to support the bond market a little bit yet uh, today. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's turn this off so I can get a little bit better look here at the TLT. Um, you're in a downtrend, even with the doji today. That suggests you're kind of in the halfway move down. So if you say uh, three bucks is the uh, move uh, and you're 143. We've been looking for this to come back to 140, and you know that's just a little dip below this October 11th. So whether you're going to go retest the 140, 145, or 140, which is a longer-term uh, projection on the TLT, uh, that gets you back there. But there's that gap at about 140 and 50 cents to one dollar. That looks like it could be an easy. Um, but these dojis tend to be halfway markers in a move. 
if they don't occur at the highs or the lows. And uh, so we shall see. But 140.66, my guess is we get in there, there'll be a route at least a 139-ish. And that just takes us back. But we've had this big move by the Fed uh, pushing back uh, against that May 12th low. Uh, and the Fed has just gone with it, gone after it and after it and after it. Uh, but they're at the point where they're really going to have to start pulling back. Powell probably is not going to be reinstated. So if he needs to make the uh, tough decision to uh, uh, be a little bit more hawkish in the next uh, couple of months, I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see that. Um, thinking that he's on his way out already, that he'll do a good job for whoever comes after him by getting a little bit of the excesses out of the market now. Uh, but keep an eye on that. Uh, other things going on. Uh, okay. Uh, others, we looked at Brinker. I wanted, oh, no, we looked at uh, that. I wanted to look at Brinker. B R I N K. Eat is the symbol on it. E A T. Uh, guy was out commenting earlier and just uh, none of it good. Owns Outback. Is it Outback? Chili's. I think they own Chili's, some of those other chain restaurants. Uh, gap down, uh, higher expenses, uh, lower customers coming in, although they made a lot of money. Uh, people aren't uh, throwing it at, uh, at uh, Dash and Dine anymore. Uh, but uh, you've got, you know, fairly decent high volume move lower out here today. And uh, you know, I think they've kind of done it a little bit to themselves, but uh, saying that they have to pay a couple extra bucks an hour uh, for helpers, um, that's the kind of times I was out there. They actually, the reason I haven't been back is they made the portions much smaller. I thought, yeah. Uh, so I, what, I didn't come back. I, it's probably, probably been six weeks since I've been uh, to the Chili's, although I kind of like their lunch specials. But just haven't gone back. Uh, other things going on out of here. CNC, Centene, nice little pop, a little bit higher. Uh, got to uh, 67.73 on its way to 72 bucks. Uh, international paper. Uh, you never like to see this uh, stock going lower if you're talking about the S&P because this is a company that really makes the bulk of the money on packaging and paper goods. Uh, if they're going down, generally the economy is headed lower, too. Uh, people are not wrapping the stuff up to go somewhere. Uh, at least that's been the thought for a number of years. You had higher volume uh, low yesterday, got a little bit of a reversal, but no volume today. My guess is that's going to continue to go uh, on the side. NASDAQ, um, big disappointment talking about lower trading volumes uh, going forward. Uh, back underneath the uh, trend line higher today and on volume. 197 is support, which we've got uh, into today, but kind of just a little bit above. Uh, been in a long-term uptrend, but um, they're seeing uh, why we continue to see uh, a euphoric market. They're worried that uh, some of the things like uh, Robin Hood and those guys are actually taking volume away from them uh, that they would normally get. Um, so, I mean, what can you say? Uh, but uh, eh, maybe there's a little more to it. I didn't go through it, probably go through it tonight. But, uh, you know, it's never good to see uh, the indexes turn south on you uh, for their stocks. Uh, we, did we talk about Netflix? And not much of a, a move other than it was higher last night. Um, you know, they're getting into a little bit of a walkout and some PR flack. But I don't know how you can let your employees tell you what you can do and know what you can't do. But uh, that's just my thought. Pinterest uh, and PayPal uh, look like they may have some kind of merger. Pinterest higher, PayPal lower. Uh, you're right back into uh what should be fairly decent resistance, and that is halfway through any big gap like this. They blew up back on July 30th. Uh, back in here, probably glad to get your cash back. If they're talking like this is a done deal. I'm not so sure. We come back, we'll look at uh, PayPal.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back to wrap up the show. Uh, as we said, uh, PayPal buying out Pinterest. Not exactly sure what the idea of these two getting together are, is. Uh, PayPal is certainly down on that pen, uh, Pinterest uh, up, but it looks like they're overpaying for it. Uh, I don't understand the whole idea of monetizing Pinterest with PayPal, but uh, eh, maybe I'll have to wait for the explanation. So that's kind of it. Um, got... Uh, Got uh, Tesla out after the bell, um, and your price for perfection here. Um, I don't think it's about how many units because they continually uh, exaggerate the truth, have an economy with the truth. That's it. Oh, got a quick question about AMT from somebody here. I can get back to it. Got a minute here left. Ta -da. Uh, um, yeah, um, we were talking earlier about how these 5G towers have to be uh, a much closer, probably within a mile of you um, for all this new 5G stuff. And that means you're not going to have uh, one that you're connecting to that's three, five miles out. So there's, these things are going to be on the corner of buildings. They'll just rent areas. But, uh, yeah, AMT, 
uh, out with the day uh, talking about uh, uh, it's uh, possibly acquiring data site um, if they can get it done. Um, this one talking about Atlanta uh, and in Florida. But yeah, uh, AMT is always a good place to be. We're just going to continue to be putting these towers up for years to come. Uh, see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to.